funny story. I was pretty excited last week when I got a what I think is a deal of a lifetime on a 10-foot brilliant culti packer. Tonight I'm out at my dad's farm. Uh, this is where the kiddo keeps her miniature horses, so she's doing stalls and stuff, and I'm uh, helping my dad pick up a tree that blew down. And uh, I'm on the tractor, and the kiddo runs up and goes, "Hey, I found one of those things you just bought with the wheels on it." And I said, "What are you talking about?" She goes, "Caldy Packer." I said, "There's not a Caldy Packer here." She goes, "Yep, I found one." I said, "Whatever, go show it to me." Well, I will be damned. I've lived on this farm my whole life and never knew there was a Caldy Packer here. Let me show you where this kid found it. So get up over here. So a little corner of the barn here. This barn needs some work, but it's a nice barn. I got a couple boards that fell down. So let me show you. She, five-year-old, was digging around in this hole in the back of the barn. Let me, let me put the camera here. Look what's in there. A two row Caldy Packer. Pretty ashamed. I just spent my Caldy Packer. Granted, nose is always dirty. What the heck? Granted, I got a I got a good deal on it. She goes, hey, I found a Caldy Packer in the barn. Nope. So there's a fall, a fake wall back here. So I don't know if this was uh, put in here before. My dad bought the property because there's a row of horse stalls in here. But let me turn you around here. See that? There's a wall. And a double row Caldy Packer. Must have been here a while because uh, still got the stuff for the horse drawn on it. But that is pretty awesome. But now I gotta figure out how to get it out of here. It might be easier to cut out the back of the barn. And I wanna get to the end to see what kind it is. I'm curious. It doesn't look like a brilliant. I'm not sure. But bought a Coley Packer, found a Coley Packer. I think it's been a good day. I think someone deserves ice cream. From the back of my dad's barn. Actually, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I didn't find it. The five year old found it. But I uh, can't get to it from the front because there's a wall there that we never knew was there. There's a bunch of old farm fuel tanks and stuff sitting inside. So uh, hopefully he forgives me. And culty packer time.
zero Colts Packers. Now I have two Colts Packers. And uh, my wife goes, well, that's good. Now you can sell one. Yeah. Okay, babe. Yeah. One of them will go. So um, got a 10-foot brilliant. I was mistaken on the one we pulled out of the barn tonight. Um, it, last part of it looks like L-L-I-O-N, but I don't see the B-R-I. So I'll have to take a wire wheel to it, and I'm sure I'll be able to read that a little better. But uh, hey, it's cool barn find. I grew up at that farm and uh, never knew that was there. So uh, learned something new every day. After we got it out, my dad says, hey, that looks kind of familiar. Uh, my dad used to farm with mules and do plowing competitions and stuff. And he goes, I think I bought that off a buddy who lived down the road. And he said the only way, only way I remember is he said he pulled it home with the with the team of mules and uh, the sound of a double quality packer on the road about drove him crazy. So it's been so long, though. It's, it's probably been at least I'm 32 and that was before me, so it's probably been under 35 years, and uh, he forgot about it. But it's cool. Uh, there's two different size packers on it. One has a big chip out of it, and the back row's missing one. So I'll have to do some research, try and track that down. If not, I'll have to cut each axle down and the cross members down enough to make it work. But maybe the wife will hear me out. I have one to use on our farm. I'll use the 10 footer because I can pull it wherever I need it. And then I can probably weld up that new one we found tonight on a three-point. You know, that way I can go to her dad's property and do some uh, my food plot stuff. So it's pretty cool, though. I'm happy. I'm excited. Thanks for watching. You never know what you're going to find. Take it easy, everybody.